I realized that every time I make a Warrior Cat custom video, I really don't usually show you the process. I just show you, like, the in-between of, um, an LPS going from this to, like, a full make custom. So, I'm going to try to show you some of the in-the-process today. So, here's some little half-made cat, Jay Feather, and Tiger Star, and... Maple shade. Okay, so I got the camera set up. Um, so about my airbag plate, why this looks so horrible and, and weird textured. Um, uh, my airbag plate, I keep it in this Tupperware over here. It set out one day, all day, one day, and it got completely dry, hard as rock. So then I just put water in it to see if I could revive it. And then it got really, really wet and squishy. But, and then I left it open intentionally for a few days while it was full of standing water. And then it, it fixed itself. So now it's perfectly usable. It's actually even easier to use than before when I first got it. So yeah. I'm gonna let that paw dry. It also cracks when it's super wet. I'm gonna need to fill in these cracks with some clay. Just made a triangle. Maybe I'll speed it up at this part. I'm getting to know my editing program a bit more. Okay, so there's an ear. I'll make another ear. Here's ear number two. Why are you using your big thing instead of your air dry? My air dry clay is being really stubborn at the moment. Still got this like oh, it's really wet about me. Okay, I know who this is going to be, and it's going to be a very pretty character that you're going to see in a film soon. So I'm just going to make her muzzle out of clay. This face is from my sister who owns the channel with me. Her name is Abby. But she's the I'm going to kind of curl them up like I did with corners. difficult when you're sculpting everything. I'm not... I could go back to my self, my younger self, when I started making these customs, which was about, I don't know, two years ago, maybe two and a half years ago. No, probably just two years ago. I would tell them and give them one piece of advice. I would tell myself not to try to super glue customs myself, because I ended up ruining several bases like that. I accidentally super glued the head to the body so that the head wouldn't turn anymore and then I tried to turn it too much and then the head broke. That happened several times. Open this real quick. Some fresh air. These things burning smells terrible. So yeah. Do 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 video is probably going to be pretty boring. So I built, I made Bristol Frost's other leg, and I came to uh, the problem which I was assuming we would have. Um, she's kind of side heavy, and um, for some reason she's not doing it now. I think it's because the table's on a soap, but yeah, I'm going to make her other leg, maybe make this one here a bit higher. And do her tail, then maybe I can make her 
steady. I'm also going to cut the limbs off of this custom and try not to break her face. I gotta find my knife, which sat in the rain all night. Okay. I'm gonna start with the two. Um, since I'm gonna make the custom sitting down, it's fine if the body shape is like this, I don't have to cut the whole bottom off. If she was standing up, I'd probably cut the whole bottom off. But since it's like that, it's fine. So now I'm gonna start making her. Yay. This is kind of weird. I mean, these videos I'm making is kind of weird. It's kind of just me making customs and then talking about random stuff. I'm going to tip that a bit more. Oh. You guys can see me make her leg. So yeah, the, uh, the hind legs are shaped a bit differently. To make it the right length. The Bristol Frost will kind of be the last cat hair trio. And also, if you're wondering why I'm burning it in the bay, because I want to start the camp on fire. I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> it's actually because if I burn it outside, then it kind of. Um, the flame is really hard to see and it blows in the window a lot. It's just much easier to burn it inside of an enclosed area, but not actually inside of the camper because then everybody dies of the smoke. See, it's smoking a lot. <coughs> so, I made her tail and now she can stand up really well. And it's not focused. Okay, there we go. So, yeah. Now she can stand up really well. And now you know I can paint her. And Rope Paw and Shadow Paw are really excited to, to, uh, to her get finished. Especially Rope Paw. So I think this cat is going to be Yellow Fang because I don't think I have a Yellow Fang custom and she kind of has a flat face. Also, I would be painting it the base coat gray just like her so that just makes it easier. This cat is going to be a little bounce kit. He's had so many layers of paint, but he's kind of... So, um, I couldn't really video painting any of her details, because <laughs> I, the phone died when I was trying to paint her details, but she kind of looks like she's got spider webs on her, but I think she's pretty cool. These tan parts on her are currently drying, so I just need to paint her eyes, but I seem to have misplaced my black paints. All I have is this gray, which I did for her body.
So here she is, the completed Bristol Frost Custom. She's pretty pretty. She has these tan spots, you've already seen most of her. I just added her eye whites. In this video, I also finished Yellow Fang. She has those scars. And Bounce Kit. He has a really pretty pattern. Mom said it's like black vines growing on him. I'm dying to death. And, um, I'm not going to show you the other two kits I made because I'm going to show you those in a different video and it's going to be really cool. Okay, so bye-bye.